12 had marching bands that were anywhere between 50 and 200. Okay. And we, we simply can't have extracurricular activities, whether they're athletics or marching band or anything else, um, trump the academic experience. What ends up happening, I think, with athletics in particular, is that it adds to the academic experience. And if you took a look at the NCAA uh, uh, purpose statements, and almost anyone who writes about the value of um, athletics in, in collegiate athletics, the, that it starts with the value is education. And if we allow an athletic program to value winning over education, then what you're afraid of could happen. But there is a great deal of evidence that our, our athletic program is not going to value winning over academics. We just don't do it. Tom set up a culture that's not like that. Now, do we want to win? Of course we do. But are we going to bring in students who can't succeed at Winthrop in order to win? No. The Winthrop students first, athletes second, and they've got a proud record. And here's the non-scholarship. I'm a fine arts student here at Winthrop and the idea of a football team is like incredibly uh, mind changing for me because it, it seems like it could certainly change a lot of things around here but um, yeah my first initial reaction was that things were going to be a lot different here uh, for the worse especially for us who are concerned about our conditions on campus and um, our buildings that we you know have access to 24-7 aren't necessarily in the condition that they should be in uh, for safety uh, reasons. But, uh, you know, after this, I feel like um, she's definitely aware of those things and that she is understanding in that they need attention. So it's, it's a, a feeling of relief, honestly, and I, I look forward to the next meeting. I hope that um, maybe she'll have a meeting that isn't necessarily directed towards football so that we can uh, state our other concerns. It was important to me not, not just because of the numbers they showed, but because they were so willing to show them. You know, there were no secrets, really, I feel... Nothing was held um, away from us necessarily. Everything was presented very fairly. Um, I came in to the town hall meeting opposing football. I will say that. But I also wanted to keep an open mind. And hearing all the information and hearing what they were saying, like I was listening, I really was, and I was trying to like develop in my mind whether or not I thought it would be beneficial. And um, you know, I'm still a little on the fence, though I'm still kind of leaning towards it. I kept hearing about how, you know, there was this pressure for football from the community, but I as a student, being around other students constantly, have never heard a pressure for football within the Winthrop community.